2010 San Diego Crew Classic course and we'll pick up the start line information as soon as it's available to watch for the start of the Men's Master C Final. Attention. Go. And we have a start. As they come out of the, the start zone, we have Boulder in lane one, San Diego Rowing Club in lane two, Loyola in lane three, Marin in lane four, Green Lake in lane five, River City in lane six, and Kent Mitchell in lane seven. Right out of the start, we see that lane two, four, and seven, which would be San Diego Rowing Club, Marin and Kent Mitchell are neck and neck. Very close at their heels is lane five, Green Lake, followed by lane three, Loyola, and lane one, Boulder. As we hit the 250 meter mark, we see that lane, we see that Marin in lane four has moved to a slight lead, a little bit more than a bow marker, and lane seven, Kent Mitchell has moved out as well. They are followed by lane two, San Diego Rowing Club, and there's a bunch of three boats in lane three, Loyola, lane five, Green Lake, and lane six, River City. And they are followed by lane one in Boulder. As they approach the 500 meter mark, we have Kent Mitchell out there in lane seven, the far lane. They have taken a small lead. Right after them, maybe a bow down is Marin in lane four. Then we have lane two, San Diego Rowing Club, very close on. Now we see lane six, River City, starting to move up a little bit. Then lane three, Loyola. Lane five, Green Lake. And following up is lane one, Boulder. As they move towards the 750 meter mark, the boats seem to split into two groups. The first group is led by lane seven, Kent Mitchell. They are followed by lane four, Marin. Close in is Loyola in or rather, excuse me, San Diego Rowing Club in lane two. The second group is led by Loyola in lane three, then lane six, River City, and lane five, Green Lake, and then following a little open water to lane one, Boulder. Master C, Master Final is on the water right now, and our lane assignments, Boulder Community Racing, currently trailing the pack, up near the front is San Diego Rowing Club. They're in lane number two. Loyal to Marymount University out of Los Angeles in lane three. Marin fighting for the lead is in lane number four. Green Lake out of Seattle, Washington in lane five. River City in lane six. And the Kent Mitchell Rowing Club out of Mountain View, California is on the lead currently and they're out there in lane number seven. The uh this age group again, it's the average of between 43 and 49. Um, Kent Mitchell is a, uh, a crew from the Bay Area, uh, always been very strong when they put boats out. Um, they're a, what might be called a virtual club. They have no boathouse, they have no, I don't think they have any boats, but they get together the four major regattas uh, and enter, uh, bringing together groups of people who uh, have rowed together before or uh, molding them into a, a crew for particular events. A virtual crew, a Rolodex crew, some of the common terms that are used to describe such a boat. But against them we have some uh, crews which are firmly based in their local clubs, San Diego Rowing Club, Marin, Green Lake from Seattle. Let's see how this race is unfolding. Well, Ken Mitchell currently has some open water over Marin. Marin is in lane number four, and Ken Mitchell is all the way out there in lane number seven. And it's between the two of those at the moment, and there is a considerable amount of open water uh, back to San Diego Rowing Association, or San Diego Rowing Club, I should say. And then we look back outside to River City. 
And inside of them is Green Lake. Loyola Marymount. And then along the shoreline and trailing is Boulder. This looks like looks like Ken Mitchell have got this one well in hand. The real challenge is coming from Marin and San Diego Rowing Club are trying to hang on to Marin's coattails. Marin have just taken it up and are trying to uh, make up the gap on Kent Mitchell in that outside lane. In the afternoons when the wind's blowing from the southwest, the outside lanes can be a little tricky on this race course. So let's see if that's going to make any difference with Kent Mitchell's ability to hold off a fast-charging Marin crew. Just as you said that, Charles, it looked like there was a little bit of lack of rhythm out in that Kent Mitchell boat. Uh, the seats in the middle of the crew seemed to get out of whack a little bit, but they seem to have regained it and have not lost a whole lot of ground, although Marin did move up just a little bit. Marin has open water back to San Diego Rowing Club, and then our trailing clubs uh, would be Loyola, Marymount, Green Lake, and River City with Boulder in the last place position. Ken Mitchell moving smoothly and easily with open water. They're all the way out in lane number seven. Marin rowing here in the dark shell, dark jerseys. And they are out of lane number four. San Diego rowing in lane number two along the shoreline. Outside of them would be Loyola Marymount, Green Lake, River City, and Boulder Community. Back on the lead on basically a wire-to-wire -wire run, Ken Mitchell. Marin has gamely tried to catch up, but has been summarily unsuccessful to this point. San Diego Rowing Club, outside of them would be the Loyola Marymount crew. River City is out in lane number six. Then comes Green Lake and then Boulder is still on the course. So unofficially, the results would be in the men's Masters C final, uh, Kent Mitchell on a wire-to-wire -wire run to pick up the championship in that category, Marin Rowing Association in second spot, and San Diego Rowing Club picks up the third position. Okay, we're moving down the age groups for the next couple of races. The next two races are the men's and women's Masters B finals. Uh, these are uh, finals for uh, those rowers aged between uh, third, if memory serves me, 36 and 42, or 35 to 42. That's the average age of the crew. Uh, there can be younger rowers, there can be older rowers, but the average has to be between uh, 35 and 42. Our crews are at the stake boat for event number 89, the Women's Master B final coming up. They're getting into their final alignment for the Frederick Hahn Memorial Cup. In lane one, we have Matadota Rowing Club, Lane two, Blair Island. Lane three, Boulder. Lane four, Austin. Lane five, Marin. Lane six, LARC. And lane seven, Green Lake. 